All right, and welcome back. This is Data Zero. So today we're going to be talking about Ethereum. So Ethereum obviously has been on a run lately. I've been calling for Ethereum to go to 2500 and my ultimate price prediction for Ethereum in the near future, which I near future I mean 20 before 2022 is 2900. So expect to see I expect to see 2900 in my opinion. This is not financial advice, but I expect to see at least 2500 um before the year 2022. Now also um in the near future before the end of uh July uh early August uh, maybe even mid-August at the latest. I expect to see ETH to see 2,500. I expect to see it more around um, the end of uh, July, which is in about five days, especially with the rally that we've been having. Um, but I don't, also don't want to cut myself short, but I'm fairly confident, and I think a lot of people can see it, that it's going to be at least 2,500. Now, I did call this days ago. You can go ahead and take a look at my Twitter and see that. I was also calling for Bit going to go to uh, 35,000, which it did. My ultimate price target for Bitcoin in the very new future is 40K, um, which I do believe will hit. Uh, so we're in the middle of this crypto rally. Obviously, altcoins are going to rally behind them. Um, I'm very bullish on Cardano, uh, XLM, Algorand, uh, XRP, um, and a few others, but those are my main ones, uh, especially Cordana, um, Ethereum, I, uh, a little bit of Bit, but let's stay uh, focused here and talk about Bit. So we're going to go to the charts, check out the chart, check out the technical analysis, and let's go ahead and do that now. So here we are with the Ethereum chart, and what we're looking at here is the big run up for the peak. So the peak was at uh, 4300 and some change, uh, 4383 to be exact, um, according to Weeble. And then we had the sell-off, of course, which was the crash. And um, then we had some consolidation here. And as you can see, um, I have the trend lines drawn for support and resistance. So we consolidated in between this zone here. And then we broke that, fell through several resistances. Um, I can actually probably take these two out and just, I'm actually going to do that. These were for uh, smaller time frames, um, so they do make sense on a smaller time frame, but not here on the uh, daily chart. But I don't like to have resistances and supports too close to each other. Um, so this would probably be more accurate here. But as you can see, then we fell through and then bounced off and traded in this channel here. And then we started to get an uptrend, which we're currently on, which is, I would say, parabolic. Um, it's definitely going straight up at an exponential rate and as you can see I have it predicted to go to 2500 um, just from the current trajectory um, RSI is getting kind of blown out um, but as you can see here we still have some room to run and as you can tell with crypto many things can happen very sporadic moves but we had several days of buying one two three four one two three four five six days of consecutive green days very very good and if you look we haven't had that many green days in quite some time the last time we even had close to that was way back here and of course with the big run-up where we had almost twice or if not twice as many consecutive green days um, so I am looking for like another small crypto rally. I'm, I don't think this is going to be the beginning of a new bull run, but I think it could lead to a bull run, especially if some FOMO kicks in, maybe some institutional buyers, things of that nature. But we're definitely calling for Ethereum to at least get to 2,500. Right now it's at 2.3, so 2,300, um, which isn't too far away. And I know that it seems like well obviously it's going to go 200 more dollars but you never know and again we were calling this a long time before this even happened we were calling this way back down here when everyone thought it was going to drop down even further than 1600 um, we were calling for it to go back up to actually 2900 and that's our ultimate price target um, 
to see that in the mid to short term future, but definitely 2500 and as you can see, we're well on our way for that. So that's pretty much it for the technicals. Um, like I said, you've seen some consolidation in this level to show we have support. We've seen consolidation in this level that shows that we have support. So if we break past this um, uh, resistance right here and get a good leg above it, it should act as support. And then we can move on to moving up to the 2500 level, which isn't much further than that, and possibly up to our ultimate price target, which is the 29 uh or twenty two thousand nine hundred dollar level or two point nine however you want to say it um or twenty nine hundred so hopefully you found the video informative um if you did go ahead drop a like subscribe for more content and that's all we have for the charts and if we hop over to the reddit posts um our ethereum and our Ethereum uh, ETH trader. You can see there's lots of good excitement for Ethereum. Um, so lots of good sentiment right sentiment right now in the community. Um, as you can see, there's lots of memes and stuff going on. Um, but it seems to be positive uh, overall in the community. Um, so as you can see, lots of good sentiment, and that's always good um, here on the Reddit community. Um, and obviously on the YouTube community, um, and then of course Ethereum is built with Fee, uh, with DeFi mine, NFTs, all of that good stuff. That's all stuff that you guys know. So overall, Ethereum kicking butt, ready to roll. Um, and let's go back and exit and go to the outro. Peace out, guys. So there you have it, Ethereum for 2500 or 2900 for our ultimate price target. We were calling this weeks ago, um, about a week ago, when everyone thought it was going to drop down even further than 1600 Let's see where it goes. You never know what's going to go in the market. This is not financial advice. We're just reading the charts, reading what we've seen. We've seen the consolidation, um, and it looked bullish to us. So... We went ahead and placed our bets, bought that dip, and it's been working out so far so good. We're well into profit, and um, it looks like we're going to even be going further into profit, thankfully. We just need to break the resistance of, it looks like, 24, 2400, around 2400 we need to break, and then we can be well on our way to uh 25 of course and then 29 so again hopefully you found the video informative if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content as always have fun stay safe peace out